Welcome back to my Food for All series. My name's Pippa Kendrick, author of The Intolerant Gourmet, and in this episode, I'm gonna show you how to make gluten-free and vegan chocolate mocha cake. This is a wonderfully decadent and gooey chocolate cake. It's perfect if you really like the combination of chocolate, coffee and walnuts. It has a really rich flavour but a quite a mellow sweetness and that comes from the maple syrup which you'll see goes into it. So we begin the recipe with some gluten-free plain flour and into this we've also got some baking powder, some bicarbonate of soda and of course lots and lots of cocoa powder. So we sift that into our large mixing bowl. This helps both add air but also combines the cocoa and into that we add just a little bit of a pinch of sea salt. Now, sea salt really works in chocolate recipes. It helps bring out the intensity of the cocoa. And then on top of that, we've got some toasted and then chopped walnuts. We roast them first, it brings out the nutty flavor, and then we chop them up into little bits. So mix that into your flour. And the reason you do that now because you want the walnuts to be coated in a little bit of the flour and cocoa. This helps stop them sink to the bottom or get stuck in one part of the cake. And then next, we're going to put our liquid ingredients in. For a full list of the ingredients, just check the description box. We begin with using some sunflower oil. You could use rapeseed or even coconut. And then we've got some dairy-free milk. I'm using almond, but you could use rice or soya. And then we've got some coffee. This is freshly made. Make sure that it is freshly made. It makes a difference to the flavor. And then we have a gorgeous amount of maple syrup. This makes it really sweet, also adds moisture to it, and gives it a completely different flavor that chocolate cake usually has. It's, um, it's really wonderful. And then very simply, we're just going to mix it together until the whole lot is combined and you have a smooth but very liquid batter. So if you think it looks too liquid, don't be put off. It's the nature of the cake. Simply pour the batter into your lined and greased baking tin and then it goes into the oven at 170 for around 45 minutes. So the chocolate mocha cake is out of the oven. We've left it to cool and then we've dusted it liberally with icing sugar and you're ready to serve. And for more recipes like these, just click the subscribe button. So I'm gonna go off and enjoy a slice of this now. See you soon.